Okay, so first of all, go down here and right click and select View Code. Then select the name of the workbook you're currently in and go to Insert and Module. Then here we're going to create a function called Split. But Split is spelt without an I, so it's S-P-L-T. Then open brackets and the input to this function will be a text variable as string and close brackets and enter and that adds in the end function then here type splt again and make this equal to the split function and open brackets and then the input for this is the text variable and close brackets now excel visual basic for applications already has a split function but in order to make it into a formula that we can actually use in the worksheet, we need this piece of code here. And we can't make the new function be called split with an I because technically that name is already being used here. Now save. And this needs to be saved as a macro enabled workbook. So select no and then change the save type to an Excel macro enabled workbook and save. Then we can close this. And now if I type in S P L T, this is the formula that I just made. And if I select this cell here and enter and then drag this down, it takes this text here and splits it so that each word is in a different cell. Okay, and that is everything.